Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I wanted to take another look at Elite Dangerous and specifically answer the most common question that people have been asking about this game and that's how to make money fast and how to make money easily. Uh, this game gives you a lot of choice on how to make money but none of it is actually easy. Uh, some of the ways are obviously mining, which is uh, which means that you have to purchase various um, uh, mining lasers and you have to increase your cargo size so that you can actually mine our asteroids and then try to sell that later at a station nearby. Um, you can also do trades uh, following the, let me show you what I mean, uh, following the galactic map, you can look at... So here you can actually see the different trade routes available to you. So it goes by color. So red is minerals, uh, orange is metals. Then there's uh, purple that's chemicals and ceramics and blue is weapons. So this basically shows you what you can sell and where and what you can buy and where. Uh, but that also requires you to change your ship a little bit and buy more cargo because you start with a only um, you start with a small spaceship that only has four cargo slots so it's, that's not really a lot because even the most expensive thing you can buy right now is only about 1200 credits maybe 1300 credits and then you can only make about 200 credit profit from each uh, unit you sell so that's times four that's about 800 credits per trip so that's quite that's quite little when you think about it considering the time investment you have to uh, you you have to uh, worry about here so what else can you do so there's obviously some missions and a lot of them are kill quests and these are actually excellent uh, for um, making money later on when you have a more powerful ship especially bounty hunting and things like that oh i need to repair and refuel my ship um but i want to show you a specific mission that you can do to make really quick money quick buck it is a little bit illegal but it's not super illegal so um i've done a few already and uh, it gave me a balance of thirty-one thousand credits right now and I'm planning to get this to about 43,000 credits in the next 20 minutes. So go, I'm going to the bulletin board and th these always have a different name, but they usually give you approximately the same amount of credits, about anywhere between 13,000 to 15,000. So when you click on it, if you see the word black box right here, that's the mission you want. So essentially, uh, there's always a different story here. Basically, uh, some of them try to lie to you, some of them tell you the truth, but essentially you have to recover this black box that's um, sort of like the box that's left from a destroyed ship and it has some secret information on it but basically they want this they want the black box and what you have to do is you have to go to, to another sector and then recover the black box and bring it back to the station and this gives, gives you 13,000 credits it's actually quite a lot of money when you think about it this is enough to buy uh, two weapons or uh, refit your ship quite well um, so I'm gonna accept this it gives me two hours to do this I think let me see if this is Anyway, so I accepted the mission, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I just forgot to look at the system where I have to go. I'm going to go into my contacts, oh, sorry, no, my transactions right here and look at my contract. And it says it's Alray JHV B26. All right, that's good. So let's uh, plot our, what was it? JHV B26. Um, I'm going to go to Galaxy Map. All right, so let's try this again. JH, uh, Alray JHV B26. And it's right here somewhere. All right. So I'm gonna plot my course to it. Uh, it's two jumps away and Essentially, this is it. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the station get to the uh, Oh, no, 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 no the other thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's just flipping me around um, and leave the station and go to that um, That particular solar system And then show you what you need to do and our first jump is to KHV B25 Engage hyperdrive, and we have to line up with the system. I don't really know where, they, where it is, so I have to line up with it. And this will jump to the system. Whoa, and it's a red giant. That's awesome. Didn't expect that at all. Look at how beautiful this is. All right, I need to avoid it and try not to get too burned by this giant and go to the next system. This is my next stop, JHVB26. Okay, so now we're in that system where we're supposed to be and what we have to do is find that box that you want us to find. How do we do this? Well, you go into your, um, you go into here and here we go. This is unexplored. Log destination. And what you have to do now is explore these unidentified and explored points. So there's a source of signal right here. I'm going to go to it. I'm actually going to target it. 
and this is there's a slight chance that this might be the box now these are actually randomly generated all the time every time you enter the system sometimes they will be like pirates that will try to attack you sometimes it will be a trader that's trying to sell you something illegal uh, sometimes it will be just like random stuff like I, I think I've seen toxic materials I've seen other things but um, because you have this mission now it, there's a really high chance it will be that black box and different missions ask you to find different things um, sometimes it's actually a rebel um, black box sometimes it's some other black box but this one is just a black box um, so I'm gonna approach it and then uh, exit my frame shift drive now the, the way to do this best is to basically slow down until this gets to about just under 1 million and then click oh too, too slow too slow and i missed it i think yeah i'm pretty sure i missed it now the thing is if you miss the uh the point if you accidentally jump too soon or too slow it will actually disappear forever and ever so you have to do this again i have to wait for my uh frame shift drive to cool down and then look for a new point now even if this was the black box and you kind of accidentally missed it, it's okay because it will actually still... Um... Oh, wait a second, it, it does appear on my map. Aha, uh -huh. uh, that's not it. Alright, so I missed my last point, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to look for a new unidentified point. And these usually appear um, at least once a minute and they're always random. There you go, there's another one. Um, so let's go ahead and oh too fast going too fast slow down slow down now I have to make sure I don't miss it this time so uh, just as it's about to get to under 1 million uh, meters per second that's when you have to be uh, ready to press your J button to basically um, to exit your frame shift drive acceleration thermo jig so just about now uh, too fast too fast too fast too fast and uh, missed it again. But this time I didn't double click on it, so I should be okay to approach it again. And I think that's it. Is that the block box? There we go. So that's the block box. Found it on the third try. So now it comes the slightly challenging or slightly tricky part. This is where you have to pick it up. Pressing the home button will open your, uh, that cargo scoop. And now you just basically approach it. And on the left side of the screen, you see there's like a, a scanner thing magic that tells you where the object is. So, moving too fast here, you will usually destroy it, and if you do destroy it, it's actually very unfortunate, but you have to start over from uh, basically flying around looking for more unidentified points to um, to land near. And you can see there's a, actually a spaceship that this used to belong to. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. Essentially, this is all, almost over. If you move too fast, it will tell you that you move it too fast, it will turn red. Uh, so, usually, if you go to around 30, that's usually enough. So now you just wait for it to get scooped up and then you return to that station and get your money. Now here's the tricky part. If you do get scanned by the police, they will actually attack you. So be careful with the police scans. Uh, those are also random. And just try to avoid them because this is technically considered to be an illegal mission. I'm not even sure why, but I guess... Oh! Ow! Okay, that's what happens when you're not paying attention, which I wasn't really doing. Now the thing is, if you destroy the box, uh, I mean, if you smack into the box two times, it will get destroyed. And if you destroy it, you start over from flying around the system looking for more intercepts. Okay, so let's do this very carefully this time. I only have one chance at this. Oh, steady, 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 steady. Right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, close the bay and let's get out of here avoiding the cops. Okay, and here comes that station where I got the mission from, Russell Ring. And I just have to approach it very slowly, very carefully, and avoid the police. Uh, those blue points that you see, those are other spaceships, uh, actual real people that are flying in and out of the system. Or, as I will soon call them, my targets. But not yet, because I'm not really powerful to be the pirate, yarr. Alright, here's the station. Request docking very quickly, and... Avoid any suspicious activity. That actually looks different. Oh, I think I have to deliver to a different station. Yeah, this doesn't look like the same station where I was before. Yeah, that's definitely a different station. Okay, I'm not doing this fast enough. Accelerate. What is this? Someone's weak. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is there any police here? 
I'm, I'm very nervous about this situation. Okay, there's no police likely. But sometimes they'll jump in and they'll scan everyone and you'll get in trouble. Oh, there it is. There. Uh, system authority. No, no. Don't scan me. Don't scan me, bro. Alright. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get in. No. No, 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 no. You don't scan nothing. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Okay, I, th I don't think he saw me. I mean, I don't think he saw the box. Oh, he did see it. No, I got fines. I got fines. Ah, uh, here we go, cargo. And well, that's what happens when you're not careful. So, also this happens when you don't fly carefully and are too nervous about the police. You smack into the station and get fined 5,000 credits. Luckily, my mission will reward me much more than that, so that's okay. It's not a big deal. But the profit here is only 8,000. Who makes these stations? This is so complicated. Okay, where's number 14? There it is. Ah, just as I thought I would get scanned after all. Okay, and now we go to Starport Services, connect to the computer, and go into the bulletin board again, and essentially deliver the box. Give cargo, get our 13,000 credits. Uh, some of the effects are shown to you here. Oh, this increased the lockdown, but they decreased civil unrest, which is awesome. And the reputation has increased as well. Uh, so there we go, 45,000 credits minus whatever I get charged for uh, basically carrying illegal goods. But I'm going to actually have to go ahead and pay it off right now because I don't want to get on the bounty list yet. Okay, paid off my fees and let's go ahead and do another illegal mission. So this this is essentially what you're looking for. You're looking for those black box mi missions. Oh, there's nothing in the station. Okay, I'm going to go to the next station and see if they have a black box mission for me as well. And this is probably the fastest way of getting money in this game. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hopefully this was helpful. Game you later, alligators. Bye-bye.